Good morning. I'm a little late um, logging on. I'm about to share this. I do have my usual news and then um, I have some shocker cards to do as well. This is um, a shaman stick, Palo Santo stick. I use it to clear the energy on my bead. Um, I like to control the energy in my house. I like it to be a certain vibe, so I'm always using little things like that. So we have a new moon coming. A lot of you guys can feel it. Um, maybe you're in another country and you're actually going to have it tonight. It depends where you live. But a lot of people are starting to really feel the energy. Alright, I'll be giving away a heart chakra activation too, so if you're just logging on, go ahead and share this video. I have a couple more shares. I'm trying to do it really um, fast though. Good morning. Um, we've been having a lot of um, geomagnetic activity, so a lot of people are just starting to really feel it um, now and feel this energy. And I'm seeing it um, reflecting and manifesting in the physical now, which is pretty crazy. We are kind of getting used to these storms, though. Just the usual going on. I have like one more share. You guys can share it too. Help me out. Share this video. I'm kind of like, um, I don't know, I'm getting up really late today. My bed was just feeling really comfortable. I probably could have stayed in it all day. But I definitely um, needed to get up and do this feed. So go ahead and show this feed. I'm going to be doing, um, I like kind of made my own deck. Like I really liked um, these chakra affirmation cards. And it came like with one card for each chakra. So I got ordered a few of them and kind of made my own deck. So I'll be doing um, chakra cards too. I just have a little bit of news to cover. Um, we covered um, yesterday how the sky turned yellow and the sun turned red in the UK yesterday. Um, this was from the storm Ophelia. Um, the storm's tropical air dragged in dust from the Sahara Desert and air pollution from wildfires in Spain and Portugal as it moved north through the Atlantic. Um, so the air is pretty toxic right now in certain regions from the storm um, because it basically just blew a bunch of the smoke from the wildfires going on in Portugal and parts of Spain um, into the UK and it's really toxic air. Um, new research confirms consciousness lives on after death. When the heart stops, the blood supply to the brain is quickly cut off, and, and this moment is recorded as the official time of death. Um, but studies show that the dead person's mind and consciousness continue to work for at least a short time, um, meaning the deceased can recognize their own death. Indeed, there's some evidence to suggest the dead person may even hear their own death. The evidence um, reveals that people whose heart stopped and then restarted could describe exactly what's happening around them. I can always confirm these type of stories. I'm real drawn to them. Um, I'm always like navigating to these kind of things um, because I've died and come back. So I can confirm all of this is true. Um, and a lot of people have had many different experiences around us with like astro traveling, lucid dreaming, out of body experiences, near death experiences. The list kind of goes on and on. We've had a lot of die-offs yesterday. I put a post on my page about it. Um, and I'm always tracking these kind of things to see what's going on. Um, and this storm just kind of hit pretty late. So I'm guessing by the dates that instead of having two separate storms with a little break in between, we're just going to have one giant one this month, um, which is a little abnormal. So we had a lot of animal die-offs yesterday. We had um, a massive penguin die-off in Antarctica, which is really concerning um, because a lot of species are going extinct right now or becoming threatening to go extinct. Um, we had 30,000 birds that were killed yesterday in China because of avian flu. Um, they have the avian flu in New Zealand too and killed 41,000 birds. Um, thousands of dead fish were found in Paraguay. 80 tons of fish died in Vietnam. Tons of dead fish found in Thailand. Um, so we're seeing this kind of stuff worldwide, literally. Um, we just had a mass die-off in California last week. So we're really seeing these numbers. That was just for yesterday. Like We're seeing this on a daily basis um, just because this planet has become so toxic. Um, Portugal's fires look really bad. Um, they pretty much look apocalyptic. We know that Portugal and Spain and California are on fire again. Um, but um, I'm going to get into this. <laughs> 
People are saying in California um, that they saw like a blue flash that caused the fires um, and the, Por the Portugal fires were blamed on terrorism. Um, so they're saying it's from HARP or that these are electromagnetic charges that melt aluminum and that these are not normal type of events that are happening around us that, you know, maybe people are getting the idea that these could be orchestrated events. Maybe um, there's a hand behind all this kind of controlling things, controlling the weather. It's kind of interesting because they have... Um, the geoengineering movie coming out on the 20th this month into movie theaters, um, where I live anyway. And you know they like to put clues in plain sight. They like to taunt humanity, things like that. And it is um, a movie about the weather basically gone out of control um, with people controlling it. And I'm going to do cards now. And real quick, if you guys need me after, um, our site has been having some problems. Um, so we did upgrade our server. I heard it described to me from our website person that it's like, um, that it's like we went from a Chevy to a Lexus. So hopefully our site is working good um, in the checkout and you guys aren't having like the error problems or problems checking out with stuff. The problem should be fixed now. Um, the whole site should be like a lot faster and working better. Um, if you guys need me after, I do, I teach Reiki classes. Right now I have um, a special going on with Reiki um, where if you get the first level, I'll give you the second level free. Um, well, I had someone come to me this morning and say, well, I already took the first level. I need level two. Can I get that deal and gift the other class to someone? And I'm always open for that kind of stuff. So if you've already um, done level one and you need level two, um, you can always go ahead and get the level and then gift the other level to someone and you're saving $150. Um, so definitely check out our site, check out our specials. I'm going to be doing activations the rest of the day and chakra openings and healing work. So I will be here if you guys need me. Um, and you can reach me PM or on the site. Brandy Eft. I kind of made these cards. But um, I'm really into the chakras. I was trying to teach people, or I'm trying to teach people that um, any kind of health problem is just going to be from a block chakra. And that basically we have no need for the entire pharmaceutical business. It's just poisoning humanity. Um, and that everything could be treated naturally with herbs or um, other types of healing. Um, so we've kind of been scammed and lied to. I like to say that the pharmaceutical industry is like the biggest Ponzi scheme um, allowed to be operating and running. It's just insane to me. Um, I look at things a lot differently and a lot more simply with healing um, and the kind of work I'm doing. So these are chakra cards. Um, if it, people don't know, because people are at all different levels, but at least awakened that are finding me, but people are at all different levels. The chakras are energy vortexes in our body. Um, we have seven of them. They're major energy centers, and we want them all open and flowing properly and aligned. Um, so Brandy, you are working on your heart chakra. How amazing. Um, that's actually the chakra of the day um, for the entire collective. I know we're working on our sacral a lot with this moon, but guess what also comes with um, any kind of moon energy would be a lot of purging, a lot of releasing. Um, we're seeing these fires and fires are a destructive creative force. But um, in ancient times and some cultures, like I know a lot of like Hebrew or possibly Egyptian ones, um, that they would regard these fires as a divine source, as kind of a divine energy. Um, and to my knowledge, guess what's happening? The third dimension is being destroyed by earth, wind, fire, and water. And we're kind of seeing it around us. Um, so we're seeing huge things with these fires. We're seeing a huge purge about to unfold um, for the next, you know, until the fourth or the fifth. Um, so work on your heart chakra. Share this video. That's like the shocker of the day with this purging. We are letting go of past hurt, past pain, inner um, child trauma, things like that. So really just work on your heart chakra. These are little affirmations. I am receptive and open to receive love. I rejoice in the joy, success, abundance, and good health of others. And um, the amazing thing about that is we have to be open to receive. A lot of people are just giving, 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 and then they get a little awkward if you try to give them something. Be open to receive, too. It's a two-way flow. Um, we can't just be pouring our energy into open vortexes. We kind of need to be in that flow, giving and receiving um, on a daily basis. Um, if you ever want to raise your vibration, the best thing, the quickest way to do it, you could do something nice for someone um, because it will lift both of your vibrations. Jamie Cheney. And Jamie died as well. Um, I love these kind of things. I think I draw certain people to me, certain souls to me. Um, and it's pretty amazing um, because we all know this. And we, I'm really fascinated by with it too because I've had a lot of natural um, DMT flood my brain. And I know a lot of people around me have too. And it really kind of does things to you, these experiences. Um, and it also takes the fear out of you too. I bet Jamie isn't as uh, fearful as some people would be too. Um, because it really, once you get past that fear of death, what do you have to be afraid of? I know a lot of people um, might not realize it, but we have this kind of subconscious, conscious fear of death. Jamie, like always, is working on her throat chakra. 
And this is a Taurus thing. Um, each sign has their own chakra. Usually it correlates with I'm always working on mine. You guys always hear me coughing and struggling um, because I'm always kind of holding in my truth a lot. And I like to withdraw and be by myself and things like that. So I'm learning how to speak my truth. Um, but I'm pretty good at it. I have the most out of all the chakra activations in that area. Um, so through positive thought, I express myself with love and compassion clearly and honestly. Um, we have a hard time with that because we're just kind of quiet, empathic. We'd rather just keep our opinions to ourselves. Um, but we all had to learn how to speak our truth um, because that's how this is all going to come together would be you guys, I'm kind of talking to you guys, and then you guys are going to go say something to someone else. And it's like positive ripple effects. Um, so we all have a huge role in this um, in helping wake up humanity to their divinity. Annette Haveri, you're working on your throat chakra too. Um, and it's just so amazing that we're working on opening these because each chakra actually correlates with a density or a dimension. Um, so obviously we started out in this life working on the lower chakras with a lot of fear and guilt and those kind of lower emotions. And now we're raising up and we're actually accessing the higher densities. So your heart chakra will correlate with the fourth dimension, your throat with the fifth your third eye with the six, and then the seven. So each one will correlate with a density too. Um, so it's pretty amazing. A lot of people are trying to raise up to the fifth dimension right now. Maybe people are, um, you know, in between the third, fourth, and fifth, whatever it is. But a lot of people are working on those upper chakras. It's pretty amazing. Deborah Verti, you're working on your third eye. Um, we do third eye activations. Um, we do chakra openings. We're really good with the chakras. That's why I'm kind of really into them. It's like my gift. Um, keep working on your third eye. It's blocked by the illusion. And this is your um, affirmation. I have keen perception, intuitive reasoning, and spiritual vision. I'm open to the wisdom within. Um, I cannot deal with the type of people that are um, arguing on posts like just whatever awareness level those are. I need, um, I need a certain group of people to be finding me and coming to me. I need the awakened light workers um, who already have their third eyes open or are working on opening them or just are um, at a higher level of consciousness um, because I'm really at a place of peace in my life. Um, and I'm not trying to convince anyone of my truth. It might not be for you guys. Um, I'm just trying to share it in hopes that maybe some of the little tricks that I did to work at raising my vibration that are really helping me would be beneficial to you guys. So I just kind of share my truth. I try to tell you guys little things that work. Um, but I really am working hard at making sure I put out the right vibe for the type of people that will come find my videos. So I'm pretty sure you guys are all awakened light workers that are conscious, that are aware, and are really doing amazing things. And the people that are drawing to me now are the leaders of tomorrow. Um, so just keep up the good work. You guys are all doing really good. Jerry Monroe. You're working on your heart chakra. Um, make sure you share this feed. If you're catching me late, like um, I'm already off the live, you guys can share it for a whole other day. Um, so you guys have like a good 24 hours to keep sharing it. If you're catching a rerun, make sure you share this feed um, and work on your heart chakra. Here's your affirmation. I'm receptive and open to receive love. I rejoice in the joy, success, abundance, and good health of others. Um, and that, like I said, that is the chakra that correlates with the fourth density. Um, so we really need to have a lot of compassion and empathy to access those higher, more adept chakras. So work on compassion. Um, what blocks the heart chakra is us not seeing the creator in everyone. We have to really um, look at everyone and see the creator in everyone and treat everyone just like that. Jerry Monroe. You're working on your sacral, and this goes perfect with the moon. We have a new moon. Um, for me, it's tomorrow in Libra. So you're working on your sacral. I'm creative, and I enjoy the sensual side of life. Pretty amazing, because we're seeing a lot of fire right now. And uh, as above, so below, as we're working on our sacral, which is kind of a fire sign, we're seeing a lot of fires reflecting in the world. Um, imagine that. Let's see. Marianne House. The earth is purging, and I couldn't be more thrilled. <laughs> You're working on your root chakra. We have to let go of fear, especially if you're watching my feed, um, because I'll just bring them all out of you like it's cute or something. So let go of fear on my feeds. Um, let go of it, period. 
we're on a divine plan. I don't really know what's going to happen exactly. My favorite probabilities are maybe pull shift, all this stuff going on, whatever. But who really knows? Who honestly knows what probability will play out? There's just so many of them. So work on letting go of fear and just know that um, uh, people were asking questions like, why are some of these houses not burned at all? And some of these houses are torched in the same areas. It looks a little bizarre. Um, well, there is a divine plan and blueprint for everyone here. Everyone um, is on a different life plan and at a different place. And some people will see the end in destruction and some people will see um, a beautiful new beginning. It's all based on what you're choosing. But a lot of people don't realize that. If you're in fear, you're going to choose the destruction out of a default. So really work on staying in love, letting go of fear, but also stay grounded. Um, that's why I do really good during these storms. I actually like them. I'll be here um, extra for work if you guys need me. I'm always around um, during these storms. I like them. But I'm working at staying grounded, so they're getting easier and easier for me. So stay grounded. Um, here's your affirmation. I'm grounded like a tree, stable as bedrock, and standing on my own two feet. So get outside, stay grounded. Nicola Campbell. There's so much going on. Oh my god, I didn't even get started, you guys. Wait till like Halloween the 4th with the full moon. It's only a new moon. <laughs> I can never sleep as well um, during any kind of lunar, ener lunar energy, so I'm not a big fan of lunar energy. Um, but we've been in a geomagnetic kind of storm for a little while now. Nicole, you are working on your sacral chakra. Um, and like I said, that's about power, sexuality, fire. Here's your affirmation. I'm creative and I enjoy the sensual side of life. But coincidentally, that chakra is about taking back our power too. Um, which we're all trying to do on a collective level. I think we're suddenly realizing that maybe we're responsible for all of this, not anyone else. Um, and that it's our thoughts that we're putting out, our vibrations, our intent, things like that. And so if we don't like what we're seeing, we can change our vibration at any time. Patty Terjok. You're working on your root chakra. You're letting go of fear too. Um, if you're feeling ungrounded, let's see how, I don't know how you guys are doing during this storm. If you're feeling ungrounded or like everything's moving really fast or hectic or overwhelmed or you have a lot going on, um, look at how you're feeling right now energetically. If you're ungrounded, um, you have some work to do um, on your energy, on your light body, on your chakras, things like that. If you're feeling amazing, um, if you're just kind of flowing with the energy, that's a good sign. Pay attention to how you're feeling energetically, um, but you're working on your root chakra too you have to let go of fear in your affirmation I'm grounded like a tree stable as bedrock and standing on my two feet get out into nature that's the best way to ground pricey womble you're working on your crown chakra which is your connection with source um it's usually the chakras don't open in order a lot of people don't realize that <laughs> that we all work on whatever chakras we're working on. They don't open in order. But theoretically, when they're all open, your chakras, your reach enlightenment. And usually the crown um, is the last one to go. Um, it's actually one of my strengths um, in terms of chakras. So if you want to... Um, if you want to strengthen your connection with source, spend time with kids that are really tuned into source. Get outside into nature. Um, and here's your affirmation. I'm part of God's divine energy. Um, it's about becoming one with God. I know a lot of our lives we're praying to a God outside of ourselves. Um, it's about becoming one with the God within ourselves. Carmen Bracompte. Oh, I know. Um, anything that's being destroyed is um, not for our vibrational good though. So I've seen a lot of GMO crops burning down. A lot of, um, we have a lot of like another gas explosion um, in in New Orleans yesterday. We've been having a lot of fires of places that build nuclear weapons, things like that. So anything that is being destroyed is not for our highest good or for the good of humanity. Um, there is an order to all of this, Carmen. You're working on your heart chakra. We have to let go of that past hurt, pain, separateness. And um, I didn't realize till I reunited with my twin flame how much pain I had in my heart chakra from that separateness, from being apart from your twin flame. It's very painful. Um, it's just probably the most painful thing that you can ever go with through. It's almost like a grief in its own. So work on your heart chakra. Um, Carmen, your aff affirmation, I'm receptive and open to receive love. I rejoice in the joy, success, and abundance and good health of others. This is about compassion. Um, Christ consciousness would be a compassion. We're trying to become more compassionate, more empathy, empathic. Nicole Campbell. 
Oh, I love that. When you see the star by the moon. I think that's a spaceship. <laughs> I think it's a spaceship. I think it might be some type of blue star. Um, either maybe Pleiadian, Galactic, Syrian, spacecraft. I'm not sure. Um, I've seen the same one. I'm really into astrology. And the things that we are seeing don't make sense um, kind of astrologically. So I personally think that's a spaceship. That's just me. I've seen a lot of footage of it. I've seen... Um, a lot of footage of a lot of things because I'm always the one everyone will come show me when they see crazy stuff. Um, so I've seen a lot of footage of it. I personally um, have seen photos of it where it looks more like a craft and less like a star. And if it was um, a star, we as we would be rotating, it would be kind of moving. So it doesn't really make sense to me um, that it is a star. It could be um, something from another solar system as well. Um, I'm not really sure, but I'm pretty sure... Nibiru might be real and affecting our solar system or something um kind of on a big scale might be so we don't really know what it is um honestly Nicole you're working on your sacral too we're taking back our power um we cannot be the victim and the hero of our story and when we're the victim we're just handing our power over to whoever it may be the systems establishments whoever we're playing victim to we're kind of handing over our power and um, we're a species that's being harvested energetically. This is how I first woke up. I realized that um, I had, I personally was having energetic vampire problems right around when I woke up and it woke me up fast to maybe we're energetic beings and other people can really affect our energy and um, our life force energy that we need to live on a crazy level. So that really woke me up. But we're taking back our power now um, because you need it. You need it to manifest and to create things into your life. And your affirmation is, I'm creative and I enjoy the sensual side of life. Like I said, we need that energy to create things. Um, and that's why we see the Divine Feminine taken um, out of so many societies, pretty much every one since Egyptian times. Uh, because the Divine Feminine is the creator. So when they take out the one who can, who can, I basically say we're supposed to manifest our way out of the matrix. And that's really what it comes down to. So that's why the Divine Feminine has been suppressed for so many lifetimes and we're now for the first time in a long time taking back our power um, but it's not about having more power it's actually about balancing the divine masculine and feminine aspects we have to come into balance with things we have to realize um, that we're all different we have different gifts and kind of balance those things just Kawaki you're working on your sacral and um, this is really an empath chakra Usually when people have the chakra blocked, it tells me that they are very empathic or they're meant to be. I know sometimes people might not resonate with that. Um, they might have it blocked up. But when you get this card, um, you're very empathic. So you're taking on a lot of energies, whether you're consciously aware of it or you're not. You're taking on a lot of energies for people. I always tell certain people to take salt baths every day. I think everyone should. But if, especially if you're empathic or energy sensitive, you should be detoxing your aura in some type of way. And unfortunately, you would have to go into nature for like a whole day for the same effect. So if you can, start to replace your showers with salt baths. At least start taking them a few times a week. I was taking one every um, day until our bathtub broke. So just try to take more salt baths and your affirmation is I am confident Responsible being with respect for nature and the emotions of others. Like I said get out into nature be around salt Sue Hannah <clears throat> You're working on your third eye chakra, um, which is pretty amazing I'm always working on my third eye um, chakra because your chakras will just keep expanding all the time so it's like you're getting more and more connected or tuned in every day. Um, you can't raise your vibrational frequency fast. This is the problem that a lot of people, a lot of people will have later, is that they can't, you can't just decide, oh, I want to raise my frequency, and you're not going to be able to do it within five minutes <laughs> or instantly. It takes a lot of work. So I'm continually just kind of purifying my energy, trying to raise my vibrational frequency, and I know that my vibration is going to determine what dimensions I'm accessing, um, what kind of probabilities I'm seeing, what kind of timelines I'm jumping to on a daily basis, if not hourly. So we really have to work um, continually at raising our vibrations, and you're just going to connect and be more and more tuned in every day as you're doing it. So just keep on working. Um, you're doing a really good job. And like I said, if you, anyone's interested, we do third eye activations as well, too. Um, we do a lot of different types of activations, like all different kinds. You guys should check them out. Um, so your affirmation, I have been, I have keen perception, intuitive reasoning, and spiritual vision. I'm open to the wisdom within. Um, everyone around me has the most amazing backgrounds. You guys have had so many lives, and you brought very um, spiritual gifts with you that are kind of um, 
foreign to this planet because this is a third dimensional planet and um, I know I have a six dimensional soul and you guys all probably do that I'm attracting to me too so we have a different kind of energy we have spiritual gifts that are very powerful that we brought with us um, not just in this lifetime but lifetime after lifetime that we're really adept with and these gifts are to help us um, on our mission so just keep on working on your third eye Jill Jill Shelton you're working on your solar plexus chakra. Again, that's a very empathic um, type of chakra. So you have a lot of empathy. Keep on working on that. Empathy is like a superpower. I don't know if people realize that, um, but it's a way that you can gather a lot of information, feelings, vibes, and just really tell a lot of things about your surroundings. Um, I am. This is your affirmation. I am a confident, responsible being with respect for nature and the emotion of others. Terry Archer, I was just going to say, oh my God, see, I had a thought like two seconds ago that I'm going to be getting different people on here because um, I've been kind of going live later and later as my schedule is kind of adjusting. So I'm really glad I caught you. Um, and you know you're working on your third eye. You already know that, um, which is amazing because I always get concerned when people are working on their lower chakras. Um, so it's really good when you're working on your upper ones. It's a great sign. Keep working on your third eye. Um, you're just so tuned in, so spiritual. Keep doing what you're doing. Try to meditate more, though. We need to really try to meditate more. And um, I know for me, I'm able to kind of go into that meditative state awake. That's how I'm able to um, inf gather information for you guys while I'm lucid and awake and coherent and talking to you guys. Um, so I'm kind of good at it. Um, but it took a long time to get like that. So just practice meditating more and um, your affirmation. I have keen perception, intuitive reasoning, and spiritual vision. I'm open to the wisdom within. And like I keep on saying, I'm real careful with my vibe. I only want to draw the adept to me. I want to draw the already awakened that have their third eyes open. that are seeing the same things as me around me. Um, because it's just so much more amazing that way. Felicia Dorsey. You're working on your crown chakra. Um, we all know this is your connection with source. Like I said, you can wear purple, get spiritual, pray more. Um, I like to meditate, um, get outside, let the sun hit your uh, crown chakra. That's pretty amazing too. Picture your crown chakra being filled with light. And your affirmation, I'm part of div God's divine energy. <clears throat> Naomi Sato. You're working on your root chakra. You are letting go of fear. I don't know what they are. They could be unconscious. You know, humanity has a lot of unconscious fears. We have a fear of the dark. We have a um, fear of animals <laughs> because for a long time, animals were a threat to people. Um, we have fear of all sorts of kind of fears, um, end time fears because we all saw the end in Atlantis. So now we're just real quick to it. Like, are you kidding me? We could definitely see the end in destruction. We already have. So I know a lot of people say, you know, I sound like a crazy conspiracy theorist, but we've all seen the end and we've seen civilizations destroyed for the very things that are going on here. So um, like all of these fears, you've already lived them. You've already actually manifested them all your whole life. Um, and I don't think that was very fun because I did the same thing. I just kind of played out all my fears like in front of me my whole life. So I've gotten to a place where, um, where I'm going to manifest my dreams now. And I'm going to try to um, realize how the universe works and put energy into manifesting things I want. Things I want to see into my life. Not the things I don't want. So um, you guys should be using this new moon energy to manifest right now. I've been trying to unplug. I've been trying to spend time alone. And I've been trying to put out a lot of energy thinking about what I want to see the next couple of months. Things I want to manifest into my own life. Um, and here, affirmation. Naomi. I'm grounded like a tree, stable as bedrock, and standing on my own two feet. Get outside into nature. The best way to ground is to do that barefoot. BJ Alice. Crown Chakra. Um, like I said, pray, get outside um, more, and kind of strengthen your crown chakra. I'm part of God's divine energy. Rachel Mace. You're working on your solar plexus. Like I said, your empathy is a superhero. But unfortunately, we're taking on all this residual debris and garbage just from being around people out in the matrix. And you can't just coop yourself up forever. So work on taking more salt baths. Work on purifying your energy. Um, I really like sage in my house. Um, it clears energy. That's pretty much what it does. But I like to, um, if anyone's ever had like a headache or a bad day, I like to sage immediately um, just because it'll clear the energy. It should help with headaches. Um, <clears throat> I'm not saying it will cure all of them, but it should help a lot to clear the energy around you. Um, so I really like sage in my own life. I like salt, like I said. Um, and I really like getting out into nature when you can. So work on that chakra. 
Um, but you're confident, responsible being with respect for nature and the emotions of others. You can really read people. You can really pick up on their emotions. Um, and you just came here with such immense gifts. Work on your sacral. Caitlin Batters, good morning. Oh, my sight was perfect. Oh my God, I'm so happy. I almost, like, you don't understand. I've had the most stressful week, and I always feel like um, I'm evolving really fast. You guys can tell. I'm on camera, like, almost every day. So you guys can tell I'm kind of been going through a crazy transformation, just like all of you guys. Um, but we've been having, like, nightmare problems with our site probably for a couple weeks now, where I'm always having to go look at the orders, and they're always messed up, and I couldn't figure out what was going on without redoing our whole store. So... I'm really hoping this works so it's not like a ton more work. We were working on it all day yesterday. That's really good to hear. Um, Caitlin's going to be signing up for Reiki. Um, I'm doing a lot of specials, so I should be having uh, and manifesting a lot of Reiki students to me. Um, if you guys ever want to help support my feeds or support my mission, we do um, other ways to get cheap activations, which is now I'm putting them in like candles, crystals, bracelets, jewelry. So we do little like activations for $20 that are a really good deal. If you ever want to support um, our mission, just check out our site. It's really good. And that's amazing. Caitlin, you're working on your throat chakra. And I see you speaking your truth. I don't have time um, to be watching everyone's feeds, but I have a very vested interest in all of you guys. I'm always keeping an eye on you guys. And I'm just so proud of everyone and how far everyone has come in such a short period. And I just want to tell you that um, I know it can feel like I just want to say really lonely for some star seeds. It can feel so lonely here. I spent a lot of my life feeling that too. But we're all really deeply connected and um, a lot of humanity is asleep right now. I'm not sure of the numbers, but a lot of humanity is choosing to sleep and that is going to change in a blink of an eye where this energy is hitting the planet. It's upgrading people. It's affecting people's energy whether they want to believe it or not. And people are going to wake up in waves and it's going to be really amazing. So I'm enjoying watching you grow and kind of set up your group and your business and what you're doing and your mission um, because I know it can feel like we woke up late. We're early. We're just in time. We're all just kind of learning um, our gifts and what we can do and our roles goals and our missions and it's just so amazing to be part of it keep speaking your truth and through positive thought I express myself with love and compassion clearly and honestly I'm gonna do um, one more round of the cards just because we have a good audience on here um, but keep speaking your truth Caitlin it's amazing I have chills saying that the whole time too it's just so amazing um you know you never know what someone's going through you never know. A lot of people won't tell you what's going on in their lives. You might think they're doing better than they are, whatever it is. Um, you never know what someone is going through. And our experiences are enough to help heal someone, to help pull someone out of darkness, to really help people in dark places. Um, and I know a lot of light workers um, like to ignore that darkness. I'm one of the ones that will um, go into it and try to help pull people out, out of it. So your truth is amazing. It's enough to pull someone out of that darkness. You have enough light to light up this whole planet. And it's just so amazing. Kimberly Kern. Root Chakra. I forget what horoscope sign you are. I'm trying to think real quick and I couldn't remember. But you're one of those horoscope signs that likes to hoard fear. <laughs> Um, let go of this fear. I know it's so ridiculous and I always attract people with a lot of fears too because I'm like Yellowstone might explode next week. I mean who knows right? Um, I probably have some new ones I can tell you too new fears I'm always bringing them out of you guys right and they're real realistic like it's not like I'm making this stuff up It really could these probabilities are real real But I think I draw a lot of people that are fearful to me because I'm supposed to be helping you guys heal these fears um I've been doing uh, live feeds for a year now. We're all fine. We're all safe. We're all protected. So let go of this fear. Know you're divinely protected and that this stuff isn't coming for you. There are certain um, karmic rules to this planet. So nothing can just hurt you for no reason or get you unless you were putting out some kind of energy um, that you're getting back. So your affirmation, um, Kimberly, I'm grounded like a tree, stable as bedrock, and standing on my own two feet. Get outside more. Tara Galette, you're working on your heart chakra. Make sure you share this video um, because it's really good energy for any heart chakra activations right now too as well since we're all purging and kind of healing past things. This is a chakra that is associated with grief and our past life stuff. So we have a lot of um, collective past life sur stuff surfacing right now. So just be aware of that. Work on your heart chakra and your affirmation. I'm receptive and open to receive love. I rejoice in the joy, success, abundance, and good health of others. And like I said, be open to receive. 
I know we're always trying to give and then we can be suspicious of other people, whatever it is. Be open to receive. Um, the universe is trying to give you everything you want. Brenda Rogers. You're working on your um you're working on your throat chakra. And like I said, it's about speaking your truth, and your truth is enough to really help someone else. Um, your experiences are enough to heal someone else and to help other people as well. So through positive thought, I express myself with love and compassion, clearly and honesty. Um, it's just about speaking the truth always. Um, just always speak the truth because that's one of the, like I said, keys you need to higher densities. Ah, uh, Andrea Keegan, first time ever. I know I have new viewers because I'm actually a few hours late. Usually I'm getting up a lot earlier. Um, but it, let's just say it's getting cold here and my bed felt really warm and nice. So I'm a little late, better late than ever. I'm really glad you tuned in. Make sure you like the page um, so you can see our feeds. And you're working on your root chakra. Um, this is like a common theme today because we have so much fear that just keeps surfacing as these purging and energies come out. Um, so your affirmation, I'm grounded like a tree, stable as a bedrock, and standing on my own two feet. Deborah Verti, you're working on your sacral. And like I keep on saying, empathy is a huge gift. Um, it's actually something that we're left with. Um, it was our part of our original divine where humans were very um, empathic, compassionate, and psychic, and um, something happened with our DNA, possibly, whatever it is, um, but now we're having these strands turned back on and accessing these amazing abilities once more, and all humans should be empathic, um, compassionate, and psychic. Your affirmation, I'm confident, responsible being with respect for nature and the emotions of others. Nissa Ray. Crown chakra. I am part of God's divine energy. See, it's a good, yeah, my Reiki deal is a good deal. I'm going to extend it because I really like that deal, um, which is, and you can probably talk to me about like by a level, other level type stuff too. So I'm going to be leaving it um, till like the end of November. I was going to do it till like the 5th, but I'm going to try to extend it. Brandy Eft. You're working on your throat chakra. Through positive thought, I express myself with love and compassion, clearly and honestly. Katie Moore. Third eye. Um, coconut oil is really good for your third eye, so are avocados. Um, I'm on a chlorella detox. If anyone wants to know more about that, you can probably look on our page and find the photo of it. Or PM me. I'm always trying to tell you guys that um, we're getting doused with metals. And these metals never leave our body. They just attach to our third eye. And a lot of the sicknesses we're seeing are actually heavy metal poisoning symptoms in a wider array, just um, in humanity as a whole. And so um, as we're detoxing, we should be detoxing our third eyes. Coconut oil is really good to do that. Spirulina or chlorella. Um, I really like chlorella better, though. I have keen perception, intuitive reasoning, and spiritual vision. I'm open to the wisdom itself. Sunny Martinez, you're working on your crown chakra. Get outside, pray more, meditate. I'm part of God's divine energy. Ben Beeler, you're working on your sacral. I am creative and I enjoy the sensual side of life. And that's amazing because I keep on saying that's fire and we're going to see a lot of fire. <laughs> we're about to see a lot of fire. And you know, it's funny. I had to go through the fire too. Um, and I had all these religious visions and great things. But really, we all go through the, our fire, the fire in our own way. And it's amazing because um, fire is really symbolic for kundalini energy. And fire is something that purifies us. So I say I went through the fire and I came out purified. I really did. Um, so this fire is just purifying things right now. Nikki Fox, third eye, of course. <clears throat> I have keen perception, intuitive reasoning, and spiritual vision. I'm open to the wisdom within. I like doing med meditations where I'll like picture light, like especially if you can go out in the sun. Picture the light hitting whatever chakra you're working on um, because we know that our chakras love sunlight. Denise Michelle, you're working on your heart chakra. I'm receptive and open to receive love. I rejoice in the joy, success, abundance, and good health of others. And keep on putting out good vibes. Um, Michelle is my hero. She was just going through some rough stuff. I think she, like, lost her job, was losing where she lived. And, you know, she's really becoming a powerful person because she's learning that she has to um, take control of her life and change things if she doesn't like it. So she already has a new job she's starting. She probably was starting it today or tomorrow. She's doing really good now. And that's the thing. No one's coming to save you, and we're responsible for our lives. So it's really amazing 
exciting to see people um, taking action in their own lives. Let's see. Gloria Aruz, you are working on your crown chakra. I am part of God's divine energy. Let's see, LaFrance Garcia, you're working on your sacral chakra. Um, like I said, empathy really is an amazing gift, um, and you brought it with you so that you could read the vibrations, um, emotions, and things about people. I am confident, responsible being with respect for nature and the emotions of others. Mary Ann DeFeo, third eye chakra. I have keen perception, intuitive reasoning, and spiritual vision. I'm open to the wisdom within. Kimberly Lathrop. You're working on your root chakra, so let go of fear. I'm grounded like a tree, stable as a bedrock, and standing on my own two feet. Devin Norris. You're working on your sacral. I am creative. I enjoy the sensual side of life. That that fire energy is amazing. Um, I know a few energy, uh, Aries that are in our movements, and I really like to use that spark, that creative energy, to manifest things with. So fire is a powerful force. Um, it's very... Uh, in, uh, very active. Nicole Hart, you are working on your sacral, which doesn't surprise me because you're really empathic. Take more salt baths. Um, I like that you went to a salt cave. We're really dying to go to. We might go like this weekend or next weekend, and I bet you had an amazing time. And you just leave there, and your energy is just completely purified. Um, I am confident, responsible being with respect for nature and the emotions of others. Patty Terjok. Yes, um, it's perfect energy, by the way, for the next two days. If anyone needs um, activation, chakra clearing, things like that, we're always here. Um, throat chakra affirmation. Through positive thought, I express myself with love and compassion clearly and honestly. Keep on working on that. You're doing really good. Um, you're really working on at that fifth vibrational level. Jerry Monroe, you're working on your sacral as well. I'm creative and I enjoy the sensual side of things. And Dolores Frank, of all people, I'm like, who's going to get the last card? Um, you're working on your heart chakra. I'm receptive and open to receive love. Um, I rejoice in the joy, success, abundance, and good health of others. Um, she's always winning our activations because we really are giving away one every video. So make sure you're sharing um, our video. And I'm here if you guys need any kind of energy work or anything today. Um, and really use this moon energy to manifest. Stay positive. Stay high vibe. Um, set your vibration. Don't let others bring you down because there's always these little traps and every kind of chaos you can think of going on in the world right now. So I suggest that you guys unplug, meditate, um, spend some time going within and thinking about what you guys want um, for the next couple of months, for the rest of the year. What do you guys really want to manifest the next several months? So really um, focus on what you want to manifest, put out the vibes for it and start daydreaming about it now because any kind of seeds we're planting, we're going to harvest um, in a few months. So stay really high vibe. I'll see you guys later.